Hey Jack and Jills, I'm Epic Botch, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play KOTOR. In the last episode, we went ahead and met up with Candorus, who told us about his plan to get off the planet. And in this episode, we are going to continue on with our end of the plan, which is to break into the Sith base with the newly acquired droid T3 and 4. So in between episodes, I went ahead and it's just so much fun to watch. Do? Oops. I'm here. Is he gonna land again? Probably not. I went ahead and optimized equipment, went around, bought some stuff, just because that takes I'm time here. and it's not fun to necessarily sit and watch. Alright. Oh. Wow. T3 and 4 is so awesome. I didn't even have to prompt him to do anything. He just did it. Let's head in. Kavadumpa kapalia monapata bonanakachu. Hmm. Um, look, here's 50 credits. Just don't hit that alarm. <laughs> Everyone responds to money. Or at least just the greedy ones in the Sith army. Oops. I'm gonna do something. Alright. I'm gonna let T3 and 4 do his thing, so... Has a really high computer skill, computer use at 15, and we have 15 spikes. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, this access security cameras. There's lots of enemies for us to fight. Not, we don't necessarily have to fight everyone. In fact, actually, most of the areas are optional. It's just if you're looking to loot stuff. Elevator. Alright, so this is the area that we need to go to. We have a big droid plus two turrets. Let's see what we can do. We're going to want to disable his shield. Oh, those are- and open the elevator. Those are our only two options. And we have plenty of spikes to do that with. So let's go ahead, deactivate his shield. Ooh, he looks like he's in a lot of pain. And open that elevator. Perfect. Let's see if there's anything else that we can do. Armory. Well, that's, that's really it. Oh, I could take the turrets offline. Do we? Oh, I don't have enough. Bummer. Well, there's not really much else for us to do because we have only two computer spikes left. Uh, the higher your computer skill, um, computer use skill is, the more, the less spikes that you need to use. I'm here. Hmm? Right, let's just go ahead and head in. Oh, real quick, because... Oh. I thought I didn't have any items for a second there. Since we are going to be facing droids, I'm going to want to equip an ion blaster of some sort. Because what it does is the ion blaster does extra damage to the droids. So do I want a blaster? <laughs> Sorry, I said I did this over between the last episodes and then I'm still equipping stuff. Let's go with the rifle. I'm just gonna ignore a lot of these doors because there's just enemies on the other side of them. Whoop. Okay, they're at least here. So, we have some new abilities. I don't think we've been in combat with Bastila yet. Um, as a Sentinel, she doesn't have a lot of force power. And her force abilities aren't really all that strong. So, I'm going to have her try to stun this droid. We're going we're gonna to focus fire by not using an attack. 
That's all he has. I'm here. We're gonna see if Bastille's abilities work. Oh, it worked that time. Stunning Droid is actually really nice because it will basically just knock him unconscious effectively. So they won't be able to do anything. The bummer is we can't really loot from them. Go ahead and open this up. What do we have? Um, ooh, two more computer spikes. That's nice. That's it. That's all we get from that little area. Now, what's going on over here? Hey, Duros! Yes! Yes, I do remember that. I knew that would get you in trouble. Let's see, how do I get you out of there? Okay. We gotta switch off all the red. So that we have to make them all red and not green, otherwise... Who sets up a system like that? I mean, I guess if you know the pattern... Which is, let's see, if I turn this off... When you click one, it makes... To change its position, it makes the other ones next to it flip its position. So, if you know how to do it, like, it's not a problem, but... Let's see, so I have... It's it's basically just a little bit of a puzzle. Um, here we go. Was it too hard? Yes, you do owe me a debt. That's probably true. Woohoo! Light side's points gained. Alright, and stay out of trouble this time, Duros. We're gonna have Bastila. I really should be leading with my team. Just T3 and 4 at this point. Oh wow, that rifle does a lot of damage. Let's make this work. The force fights with me. Yes, I'm here. Ta -da. I'm here. All right, hmm? let's make sure that everyone I'm here is here and ready to go. Let's pause real quick. We are. Oh, why don't I have anything like that? Oh, okay, I do. No, 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 she has the armband. That's what's going on. No. We'll just put this one on. There we go. So now she has the ability to shield. So do I. I'm gonna save the Sith one. Let's just do a regular energy shield. <laughs> And it's mini boss time. Let's see if I can stun this one. Why? Sometimes the AI will do something what can I do? that doesn't make sense. Like having Bastila do her force speed power when she has limited force abilities. <laughs> Alright, so we're still doing alright. What can I do? Take care of this job by not dying. So be it. Going down pretty quickly. You cannot go ahead and get rid of those boxers. Turrets. I'm here. Not too shabby. Yes. Alright, we're gonna use Basila to cure. I mean, she 
hasn't really had issues for herself. No, let's not use the advance. You're not too too low on power. What can I do? Hmm? I'm here. I want Bastila's force powers to be hmm? all the way up. So there's another area that we can go loot real quick that shouldn't shouldn't hurt us too much to go attack them. <laughs> So we'll just do that while her force power is recharging. Oh, there is a sentry. Uh-oh. Yes. Oh, not right in the middle of a combat. That was poorly done. I'm here. That wasn't too bad. All right, let's continue on this way. Yes. What? Remember to lead with your tank. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll have him disable the mine. Let's have you use your lightsaber throw instead of getting into combat unnecessarily. There we go. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but at least I didn't set off the mine. That's again with the AI just choosing to run into the room rather than sitting outside with their range attacks not getting hurt as much so getting some nice loot here Ooh, those are some items for t3 flamethrower who doesn't want a flamethrower that is awesome but he can't have it because it's a class 2 bummer I want it now I don't, I don't think we'll need the shield disruptor. Yeah, we already have one equipped, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's do a repair real I like how I wanted to come over here to have Bastila's force meter go up, and I end up using more than I did in that original fight. My bad. It's alright. I think by the time that we get into the hint, hint, wink, wink, next fight, because it's coming up, she'll be, she'll be fine. Alrighty. So real quick, let's move what? everyone to the door first. Yes. And I am going to save real quick yes just because this fight with my main character being a level 5 tends to give me a hard time so we're gonna pause make sure everyone refreshes their shield I will use this Sith energy shield this time yes and we're gonna Go ahead and get this fight started. Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the Force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a Force Adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the Dark Side. Turn from the Dark Side, it won't lead you to anything but destruction. Spoken like a true drone of the Jedi Council. We Sith, however, have learned to embrace the potential of the dark side. Mm -hmm. It is yeah, what sure. gives us strength. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. 
Yeah, a big talk for someone who doesn't have a lightsaber. Although, really, I can't complain too much because... Because, yeah, I am You don't have a lightsaber and that's good for me. Alright, let's stick him in my one spot. And I don't think stun's really going to work on him too well, so... Let's... Actually, no. Yeah, let's let's have her do that. Get started with that adhesive grenade. I'm here. What can I do? Whoops. <laughs> Apparently I was a little bit too close for that. What? Oh shoot. Yeah. He's he's not at it anymore, but I am. Oh bummer. Alright, gotta keep my eye on health. Let's just make sure. <laughs> this is always such a nerve-wracking fight for me. We'll have her do cure. Oh, and I should have switched my... Um, I'm for the moment. Oh. Alright! So with a little bit of planning, this fight goes a lot better <laughs> than, I do. than I would expect, which is which is very, very nice. What? Alright. Yes? Uh, yes, heal. What? Let's pick up the remains. So we got a Tartarus, launch codes. What else did we get? Energy shield, strength gauntlets. Not good for my character, for Viella, but definitely for someone else in the group. Probably a certain Wookiee that we have. Ooh, light battle armor. And a strong box. 500 credits! Ah, yeah! Alright, Bastila, let's, I'm here. let's have you heal again. I'm here. Alright, Jack and Jills, I think I'm going to call it an episode here. We pretty much got everything that we need out of the Sith base. There's not much more except for random looting. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and meet up with Candorous and head over... To, we'll figure out what the second part of the plan is now that we have the launch codes. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, Jack and Jills.